with that being said, fuck Twitch chat. Let's talk politics, baby, and personal identification in the form of political labels. Wow, very cool, very cool, very cool. I have, for a fairly long time, uh, done a lot of market socialist and just socialist oriented content. So, you know, we can go through some more of my videos here. If I search Rosary Socialism, I would market socialism work. Discord Q&A, where I'm answering questions. Are market socialism and anarchism compatible? Debunking a Swedish libertarian, Hensik, Henrik Jonsson, on socialism. Debating a classmate on capitalism versus socialism. New market socialist arguments and ideological bias. But you can just leave classmate capitalism versus socialism debate highlights. Market socialism is the military. We have we have a bunch of a uh, bunch of interesting stuff here uh, when it comes to uh, to socialist content I've done. Despite all of this, I have always labeled myself a progressive and not a socialist. Typically, on a couple of occasions when I've been asked, I've said, "Yeah, I'm a market socialist." However, as for the moment, I don't really you know feel like that's the most accurate label. I suppose a big part of this, a big part of the recent change was the fact that I did a bunch of research on worker cooperatives. I made a big document on it called Analyzing the Values and Limitations of Worker Cooperatives. It's this document, for those of you who have not seen it. And through the research I've done on worker cooperatives and the, I don't know if you want to call them findings, because I didn't actually find anything. I just like synthesized already existing information. But one of the conclusions I draw here, given my understanding of the issue right now and the research and the literature existing on it, I very clearly say here that the current literature on worker cooperatives does not warrant blanket mandates for cooperative firms on the economy as a whole, or even specific, specific sectors of it at this point in time. Additionally, a co-op mandate on certain sectors of the economy or the economy as a whole may reduce or get rid of certain premiums discussed in this document, and as such, more research is needed before we consider such policies. And this is something that I previously argued for. In a lot of these debates, in a lot of the, you know, Sweden, not Sweden, in a lot of the market socialist, capitalist debates, I would argue that, hey, we need to transition towards a completely cooperative economy. We need to have like legislation in place to make all the firms cooperative. And I have moved away from this position as a result of me doing this document. And at that point, when you look at what I actually believe when it comes to things that could be labeled as somewhat socialist, the furthest thing I really get at that point is that I believe we should do more experimentation, more research, and just generally encourage the growth of worker cooperatives so we can see more information on the topic. And that's sort of like where I'm at right now. I don't argue for any forms of mandates or, you know, other things on, you know, specific firms, specific, um, specific like sectors or, you know, economies as a whole. Absolutely not. These are not things that I argue for at all. At this point, what is the benefit of me labeling myself as a socialist. In my opinion, I don't see any strong reasons for doing so. Because there are three issues that come with, or that I feel like I run into if I were to label myself a socialist. Number one, I don't believe that there's any beliefs I hold right now that are socialist in nature. I mean, encouraging the creation of a new business model that can exist perfectly fine under, uh, under like a capitalist framework. I don't know. I don't think that's, that's, you know, like socialism. Um, I don't argue for the, the abolition of the commodity form. I've never done that really. I've never gone really like in depth into that, um, at all. I still very much believe that, you know, especially in the short term that markets are here to stay for the moment. That's point number one. I don't think there are any beliefs right now that I hold that should be characterized. That would be characterized as a, a socialist. Number two, Calling myself a socialist just alienates a shit ton of people for absolutely no reason. Because it doesn't adequately reflect any of the opinions I hold in terms of economics, there is no really strong reason for me to call it myself it. And calling me that, especially like in a situation in which I am debating or I'm interacting with people who just have a instinctual opposition to that type of terminology, those types of ideas, it's going to do nothing except for just make it harder for me to push for a whole range of progressive political advocacy, which has nothing to do with socialism at all. Now, it is possible 
that far in the future, I may have like some conceptualization of, okay, what would my ideal society look like? And, you know, set today's party bus, assuming that all else was the same, assuming that there was no added disadvantages or anything, society operated pretty much just the same. Would I prefer a society in which everything was run by co-ops or everything is run by the traditional firms? I would prefer co-ops. Sure, 100%. Ceteris Parbus, assuming that all else is the same. But theorizing something conceptually is one thing. Being able to get there and seeing if that conceptualization is actually feasible is a completely different thing. Um, and because of that, I just I don't see a strong reason for me to like label myself a socialist in any like way, shape, or form. Because the most socialist <laughs> policy I have is hey, let's do more research into worker cooperatives law. And calling myself a socialist just alienates a bunch of people for no real reason. And I mean, I, I've never stopped labeling myself like a progressive. That's been my, you know, it's a bit of a meme in my district community that, you know, my political labels have forever just been progressives. And, you know, some like, oh, you know, Rose is a big crypto here because I did do a lot of content where I argued in favor of market socialism. But from this point forward, when it comes to economic debates, I'm not going to argue in favor of like market socialism really, unless we're having some hyper theoretical debate about some like long term, like utopian preferable alternative. And to be honest, I don't even think I would accept that type of debate. Like, because what's the what's the purpose of it? It accomplishes nothing. The the arguments that are gonna be made there, like the fallout, the consequences, the things I'm gonna like I'm gonna learn there are probably not gonna be applicable to what I want to argue for in any way, shape or form. So there's like no real reason for me to take a debate like that. So I don't think I'm going to be arguing in favor of market socialism anymore. I will 100% be arguing in favor of co-ops because they're very cool. And I really want there to be more co-ops so we can have more research and so we can see some of the established benefits of it being more widespread in general in society, assuming that they're still retained. And then the final thing as well is that for me to label myself a socialist and to really like have the necessary belief system underlying it to justify that form of labeling, it would just take a bunch of time, basically. And it's like time that I could be spending researching or developing my opinions on, you know, other policies or other solutions or just other things that could be applied in a better way, in a more pragmatic way in the meantime, in the short term. In conclusion, I don't label myself a socialist anymore, even though I've argued in favor of market socialism before, because number one, there's no beliefs I hold that should reasonably be called socialist. Number two, it alienates a shit ton of reason for people for no reason. Number three, doing the necessary, like, you know, having the necessary belief system and the, the education and the information necessary to back that up would require me to do a whole bunch of research right now and a whole bunch of time commitment that could simply be better spent you know, on other forms of political endeavors and other form of political information gathering that could be more applicable in the short term. And um, as an effect of this, I'm not going to argue for market socialism in the way that I've done previously. I'm not going to argue for a complete mandate of worker cooperatives in sectors and an economy as a whole, because I mean, I don't think that the research right now exists to indicate that that's a good thing. But I will 100% argue for the idea of co-ops. I really believe in the concept. I really believe in the idea. I think it's really cool. I think we should have more cooperatives. I think we should have government policies that incentivizes the creation of cooperatives. But I'm not there on mandates right now. And because of all these things, I'm not going to uh, to label myself a, uh, a socialist going forward and not going to argue in favor of market socialism in the ways that I have done previously. Um, but yeah, now I'm just a progressive. And in terms of economic debates, the main thing I'm going to argue for are effective welfare policies, effective government regulations, effective wealth redistribution programs, effective unionizing like legal frameworks, and things that can be like realistically implemented in practically, you know, all developed countries as for the moment being. And some of them may already exist in certain developed countries. And for those countries, like for example, Sweden, where we have, you know, some of these things to a greater scale than what they have in America, for example, I would argue for like further, like next level instances of the things I just laid out there. Those are my economic goals, I suppose, going forward. This is my labeling. This is my reasoning for it. And yeah, this is, uh, this is me. I'm a progressive. Wow. Coming out as a progressive. Very cool.